Steve is here. Yep. Um, so much ranked and unranked SoCal talent. Canines actually did really well at fast yesterday. Got a few uh, few early kills. Got a good win over Nito. Almost got a win over Razo as well, I believe. Almost, so. Okay. And we also have X-Ax as well. Oh, we do. That's right. Forgot about him. Yeah, X-Ax is here. Oh, there's Nitro. That's what you, got, you were talking about. Mm -hmm. And the fact that... Um, is Nito here today? I haven't seen him. Mm, okay. So definitely... Uh, I could talk all day about the unranked SoCal players and how like they're making a rise and how they're like a mini region of their own because mm. people have just been sleeping on the fact that they're on that SoCal PR and they're like, wow, okay, I can just kind of stand here and just be here and not really go to tournaments as such. And then they quickly realize that, uh-oh, all these unranked SoCal players are coming to play and they're here and they come out swinging. Like Nito was able to take it over Pope and as well as uh, and Vladin was able to win a set against Zenyu like we talked about a little bit earlier at Hat. So there's a lot of unranked SoCal players are coming into the scene. Exactly. So many other regions, you just have that momentum, that mentality that, oh, usually the talent just ends where the rankings do, but that's not the case here. So much uh -oh. depth within this region. We're going to see the banjo coming out. Mm -hmm. Appealing to the fans, as K9 would say, Thunder Gaming representing him. Thank you for that one. So banjo, definitely a character of a lot of people have been talking about. He's, uh, people say he feels really good. Some people say he feels really clunky, but... All in all, hopefully we get to see some Banjo plays coming in right now. People, you can't deny that people have been talking about his grenades and his side special. Yeah, he is the flavor of the moment at the minute. Some of these grenade plays, some of these setups have yet to really be labbed out, but for the people who do discover them, if you can just get a fair confirm early or a nair into something, you know, that's very worthwhile. And those just seem to be the early combos that have been discovered thus far. And not only that, people have been trying to lie about the drag down nairs, but they seem to have an inconsistency where it's literally a 50-50, whether they land on the same exact spot that you want them to. But Wadey, speaking of, we haven't forgot to talk about him. Right now he's doing a really good job. He's trying to get these confirms down, but both of them at relatively even percent. As Kana going to use that fair once more, the grenade passing him out, but the... What? Well, just as that bike came out, there is a bit of start up there, and that was all the timing that K9s needed. Brought him in with a fair, and going to use the Wonder Wing to recover back to the stage. Mm -hmm. Wonder Wing, it's going to be. He's got more resources available, going to use his recovery high, but you can't do it right in front of Wade, who's going to dash tag with your name on it. So stock number one. Yeah, even out. no percent taken on K9s part. And Wadey already has a window back into this game. If he can just be very careful, avoid some of these grenades and these early setups, he may have a shot here. And those are the drag down nares everyone's been talking about. K9 Bruce on top of that, but that back air surely is not safe. And here come the up airs from Mario that he's so famous for, getting that all that damage down, almost caught it with that landing up air. It's just extremely safe, but in the end, he's going to get caught out by that back air. So Wadey doing a really good job, but K9 fighting back. Oh, it looks like we do have K9s with the Wario. It is a character he plays often, so. Oh. I've been lied to this entire time. I was told that Canines was doing some banjo things, but evidently it looks like it's going to be a secondary he's a bit more familiar with. Good back air right beside the platform and finally uh -oh. gets him to waste a wondering as well. I think he definitely wanted to go for that grenade pull. A lot of players tried to use the wave bounce version of it in order to get out of it, but here we go. Canine with this, all this damage. I've been lied to. It's, it feels so weird calling Canine the warrior now because I'm so used to seeing him on this banjo, but Canine. Doing a really good job with this lead. Wario with Rage is a bit troublesome, and he's also got Waft online. He is, and finally gets him with the dash attack as well. Too much percent, perhaps, for a Waft setup. Might have to land one raw here, but if he can catch out a Wonder Wing, it does have considerable end lag, so that might be the ender here. Mm -hmm. Needs to be really careful with that grenade. Popped out once more, but the back air will take it, so K9 up 1-0. Just Overrated. expends that Waft and a bit of celebration. A good two-stock coming in from K9s. Looked a bit shaky towards the beginning, but mm -hmm. after that first few trades, it was all him. Yeah, definitely was a little bit of trouble. Uh, but Wade well, did a really good job on that, man, Joe. It's really hard to tell exactly what he's going to do. There has been no real meta game set up for him, what exactly he should do. Some players like to use that neutral B and try to camp out using the grenades as well, like a pseudo snake. Problem is, is that speaking of pseudo snake, well, we got there the you real go. one coming out. K9's been talking about it. I've seen his snake. He seems to be talking about it. So hopefully we get to see something different on game number two. Yeah, game number two. On to Smashville. Perhaps it's just the stage choice that he liked, if he's just going to counterpick by stage, or perhaps it's just a character that he's been willing to try out. I know he was trying out his Lucina yesterday at Fast. A myriad of different characters to supplement the wolf that we know him for, and right now has a bit of a percent disadvantage to make up. 
needs to be a little bit careful. So Kanan at a disadvantage, but it is Snake. He is quite heavy and he's used to taking these trades out. Using the Kita actually catches them out and uses the down throw right out of the explosion. So Wadey taking a bit of damage and oh my god, the Wonder Wing, a little bit of lag out hitting that Nikita, so it's gonna give Kanan plenty of time to react to it. Yeah, the problem for Wadey is that he's just been using this Wonder Wing very defensively. Finally, we see it as a call-up for a return option, but has to be on the offensive before he wants to go for kill options. Mm -hmm. Needs to be careful, and here comes the beer Russell right on top of that grenade. Wadey's gotta be careful. You can't jump right in front of K9, and that up air gonna take the stock just like that. Yeah, looked like Wadey just panicked there after air dodging to the wrong direction, and as soon as he used up one jump, the up special took him entirely just into Snake's waiting feet. K9 getting clipped out by the back air once more. Needs to find some way back onto the stage. Here comes the beer. Oh, he actually air dodges this time as a mix up. So Wadey gonna eat a dash attack in return. And the Wonder Wing just whizzes right past his K9's head. Yeah, K9, of course, any snake player has to be used to grenade pressure in the first place. And both characters here will be using their grenades as perhaps zoning tools, but one of them considerably better than the other. And that's the end, that's the extended hitbox that people love to talk about. And that Wonder Wing is actually posing some problems because Wadey keeps hitting these nades and it gives it gives K9 Bruce ages of time to react to it. So Wadey's got to be careful. He's being beaten out once more, but the Wonder Ring, he finally weaves around the cube, but he's still alive. Yeah, Snake much heavier than most people give him credit for, but that up smash, it's frame five, I believe, so fast, or frame eight out of shield. Whatever it is, it's so much faster than a lot of people give it credit for. And what it lacks in perhaps a hitbox, it makes up for in its raw kill power and speed. Able to get so much, so much off of that one. Here comes the nades. He needs to get to this more defensive snake dispense. Is quite interesting to deal with, but weighty. Good to avoid the tech chase, but K9 waited up the air dodge. Really intelligent by him, knowing that Wadey loves to go for that panic air dodge in those situations, and was able to simply wait it out and use the up tilt. Yeah, what a veteran move from K9's, just knowing that if these panic options do come out as he suspected they would, he would get a free punish and put himself in the exact opportunity to do so. Mm -hmm, and he gets grabbed, so he's got to be careful. Here comes the way he read out the mash, but in return he gets hit up by that C4 that was waiting and hiding in the grenades K9 in a bit of a trouble yeah that air rat attack rat the back air coming out good air dodge back to the stage but have to imagine another fair from weighty will seal it out yeah a great down tilt remember it does cross up shield but the down tilt from snake actually was able to counter it out he gets clipped out he gets two framed by everything and including the up smash K9 another two stock yeah well placed setup he just had the C4 on the ledge to discourage a normal getup and as soon as he went for the jump that mortar was waiting for him had his